When Valve released their Steam Deck, they really did a lot to shake up the gaming world in particular, the mobile gaming world, the handheld gaming world that Nintendo had so long utterly dominated. But when they did this, they left sort of a lot of open questions as to how this would work. Were we going to see a situation like with a PC where new stuff comes out every year? A PC maker, an OEM for laptops, tablets, what have you, tend to have a new model every single year that users, if they want to, can upgrade to. Or would this be more like the console makers, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, where a console would be out for many, many years and would only be updated well after it had been rendered totally obsolete by advancements in tech? What kind of life cycle would the Steam Deck have? This thing is not cheap, right? It's going to start off around $400. It'd be kind of a pain in the butt to have to buy a new one every year to continue getting the newest features and playing the newest games. But as PC gamers probably well know, that's not typically what you have to do in the world of PC gaming either because you can just turn the settings down on the newest AAA game and keep playing. Which way was Valve going to go? Well, we finally have what I believe to be a pretty good answer to that question. In a recent interview, Rock Paper Shotgun got to sit down with Valve designer Lawrence Yang. And late in this interview, there's a really interesting snippet way down here where Yang said that while Steam Deck's success has, quote, made them even more excited to look closely at what can be improved, he reckons that again, quote, a true next gen deck with a significant bump in horsepower wouldn't be for a few years. Of course, we are already one year in, so perhaps they're looking at somewhere ballpark, a four-year life cycle for the Steam Deck, which does sound about right when you think about normal gaming consoles and stop thinking about it like a PC, despite the fact that mine does run Windows 11 like a PC. Now, this is one of those things that people are going to have mixed feelings about, right? Like, on one hand, it would be cool to see them iterate quickly and release new versions of the Steam Deck that, you know, address whatever problems you may have with the thing, make it more powerful, you know, as new uh, Ryzen chips are being released. Keep up with all that would be really, really cool. However, on the other hand, for people like me that don't want to have to keep buying a new one, don't want to deal with FOMO, right, the fear of missing out, I love the idea that we're going to stick with what we have now. We're going to keep developing the software for it. We're going to keep building on what we have before we move on to the new piece of hardware. And not just building on it by Valve themselves, but building on it in terms of an entire community. That has been what I have loved the most about my Steam Deck, okay? So even though it's a fun console and I love playing games on it from time to time, the thing that I've enjoyed more than anything else has been watching what the Steam Deck community has been able to do. We have accessories that are 3D printed that are being sold to attach all manner of things to the back of the Steam Deck, and that is very, very neat. We have people modding fans onto the back of it, cases to put fans on the back of it. We have people modding bigger SSDs than should physically fit in there inside the Steam Deck. We have people developing software for the Steam Deck to make it run really, really well on Windows 11. Link to the video about that down in the description below this video. Lots, so much really, really cool stuff going on with the Steam Deck that part of me is like, yeah, I don't want to stop that. I don't want to divide all that work between multiple different iterations of hardware. I want to keep it all in one thing. Give us four years to really have fun with this thing before giving us a new one to move on to. I actually, it's weird to say I'm glad they're not releasing a new cool piece of hardware but I'm kind of glad they're not releasing a new cool piece of hardware. And there's also another sort of domino effect that is caused by this version of the Steam Deck being around for longer. As it gets more and more popular, more and more people buy it, there's more and more demand for PC games that can run on lower end hardware. And you know, look, some people won't like that because they'll say, hey, I don't want anything holding back development. I have, a $4,000 PC running a 
Core i9 and an RTX that begins with the number four. I want things maxed out as much as possible. And if people are having to make their games still work on low end hardware like the Steam Deck, that's going to make that harder for them to keep up with on the high end as well. And that is absolutely fair. However, I will simply submit to you that most people are gaming on lower end hardware. So this is actually good for the majority of people. The more popular Steam Deck is, the more games you're going to be able to run on lower end PCs. Even if you don't have a Steam Deck, you might benefit from that fact. So there you go, guys. That's kind of the little snippet of news about the Steam Deck today. And what I think about it, I think it's actually a good thing. Let's keep building on the greatness that we've already achieved. Subscribe so you don't miss out on more content just like this. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.